Okay, this is the third attempt at doing this, okay? Three, I should tell you how things are going. Everything's changing. So I have written a letter, it should be below, and uh, that letter details uh, what we have information-wise right now for Tapestry. What you need to know is uh, that instead of trying to meet in homes like we were going to, because the CDC has changed its guidelines to 10 or less, we're not going to uh, even attempt to meet in homes. We're going to stick you know, with doing video church as much as it's not really who we are. Uh, information I got from you guys was last week's fit with who we are, so we're going to stick with that. We're going to focus on Ebenezer's. Uh, these little wonderful reminders that say God has helped us thus far. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Uh, we're going to lean into our grittiness. We're going to lean into who we are. And I would ask that you would take that wonderful advice I'm recording this on right now, yours, not mine, and that you would record a prayer or you would record a psalm of hope or even despair because it's appropriate for us to call out and ask, how long, O Lord? Uh, if you would record a uh, what in the church world we would call a testimony, but the reality is it's just a story of where you say, I was in a bad spot and God was there for me. If you would record those and then send them to me, uh, or even just if it's a large video, ask me uh, for a, a what's called a file request, and I can set it up to where you can drop it in my Dropbox. We'll get that. We will put them together so that we are ministering to each other, so that we are conveying the word of God to one another. We're going to lean into our greediness. Uh, this is not meant to be professional. It's meant to be who we are. So we're going to lean into that. Secondly, uh, small groups. We were hoping small groups were going to be able to meet, but with 10 or less, that, that becomes difficult. So we're, the leadership team is encouraging small groups not to meet in person, but instead to bother one another through video and text and phone calls and uh, carrier pigeons, if you can find them. I, I don't care. Uh, just smother one another with love, okay? Uh, contact one another. It's a good thing to do with those outside the church. If you know somebody who's lonely, make sure that uh, you reach out to them. And then thirdly, if you are sick, and to my knowledge, nobody is sick yet, and I hope nobody gets sick in our family, but uh, chances are somebody will. So uh, if you are sick, the leadership team, as well as the whole church, wants to make sure you're taken care of. So in the letter, my number's there. The leadership team's numbers are there. We are going to make sure you've got what you need. So if you're sick, call us and tell us how we can help you. We will go and pick up food for you. We will go and pick up medicine for you. I will go and pick up comic books for you, okay? And we will drop them off at your porch, and we're going to make sure you're taken care of. Just know you're not alone, okay? If you know somebody else who's sick, obviously we want to take care of the church uh, first, but we also want to take care of others. So if you know somebody else who's sick, we want to be able to reach out to them also. So don't hesitate. Again, my number's in the bottom. Guys, God bless. Remember, you're not alone. You are loved, and uh, we're in this together, okay?